how's your day going? And I said, well, I think it's pretty successful considering I didn't murder anyone today. <laughs> I was like, Mel, did you just say that out loud? Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I'm not going to talk too much today because I want to jump right in. I'm motivated. I want to get today done and over with. I want to hustle and that's exactly what we're going to do. If you guys are new to my channel, hello, my name is Mel. I'm a delivery driver with DoorDash, Walmart, Spark, and Instacart. So if that's something that you're interested in and you wanna see some ride-alongs, stay tuned. Jumping right into the video, you guys, I have this order. We're doing 12 stops on Walmart Spark. We're driving 27 and a half miles for $57.25. We're in spot 16, my favorite number, y'all. It is currently 10.09 in the morning. Let's get the stopwatch started. Here we go. Order, you can see there's a two there, so it's an hour and 22 minutes and 28 seconds. And it's 1233. So much was wrong with that order, you guys, just from the start. They gave me the order with no bags. It's at my favorite Walmart, of course. No bags. Then she asked me to put the stickers on the bags. I was like, no, you should have had this put together and in bags with stickers on it and then brought it out to me. I hate when people waste my time. And what am I supposed to do, yell at her and have her move slower or do what? So from the start, it was a disaster and then Every single drop off was an apartment or a mobile home or a gate code, you guys. So I spent a lot of time waiting for cars to pull up to open the gates because I had no gate code just to get into people's apartments. So let's just say I am so glad that order is over for the love of God. <laughs> $57.25 payout. Praise Jesus. Amen. That's over. I'm $57 richer. I had a nice drive, but everyone literally irritated me with their gate codes. I have my next order. We're going uh, to go to the Walmart pickup. So on Walmart Spark, we got two customers. We're going seven and a half miles. I'll put it up on the screen for you guys. One customer has two items my favorite kind and the other has 64 so payouts $25 and two cents seven dollars in tips so I will see you guys when I head over to the pickup area We're in spot number eight outside of Walmart pickup it is currently 146 get our timer going and I'll show you guys the order in just a sec when they bring it out here's order number one here's order number two I'll see you guys at the drop-off 37 minutes, 35 seconds, it's 224. The payout on that order is $25.02. I got my next order. We're going inside shopping at Vaughn's grocery store. We're picking up five items. We're driving about four or five miles. Can't remember. I'll show you guys the cart when we're inside. Let's get the timer started. It is 412. Let's go. Okay guys, so this is a gentleman shopping for his wife. It's their anniversary today. So we have strawberries, chocolate, her favorite ice cream, some pink, pink roses picked out by yours truly. And he asked me to pick out flowers in a card. So I picked out this one. I thought it was really pretty. Um, just so you guys know, I never buy greeting cards, ever. <laughs> so here's this. And this, you guys can pause it if you want to read the whole thing, but I literally had to pick out flowers and a card for somebody's anniversary. This is strange, but I'm glad to help. Took 38 minutes and 55 seconds because I had to pick out the flowers and the card. So it's 4.52. I've never had somebody ask me to pick out a anniversary card and flowers for their wife before. Like, that's just so weird. I have my next order from Walmart Spark, you guys. It's one customer. I'll put it up on the screen for y'all. We're going 2.9 miles. We're picking up seven items. Payout is $15.78, and four of that is a tip. 
So when the order comes out, I will show you guys. It's 5.44. Timer is starting. We got the order, you guys. Cute little bag of crafts and socks and pillowcases. I'll see you guys at the drop-off. 16 minutes and 6 seconds. It's now 6 o'clock. Pat on that order was 15.78, you guys. It's still early. I took my next order, so it's going on 6.10, if you guys can see. <laughs> Starting my timer. We're shopping at Michael's, which I'm right outside. We're driving 8.7 miles, not thrilled about it. $16 and one cent payout if everything is in stock, so we'll talk about that later. We're shopping for eight items. It looks like somebody is making a t-shirt, putting some beads on it, and ribbon and glue and all of the things. This is the second time we've been here shopping for someone. An hour and 13 minutes. So now it's 7.25. Yeah, I had to talk to Jesus again for the second time today. <laughs> I am really going to struggle with taking these low paying orders because I, I, I would have never taken this order. Ever. Um, especially since it's a $4 tip. And you guys saw how much time it took me. Here's why. Um, it was a teenage girl. The good thing is, is she's buying t-shirts and sparkly things. I didn't even show you guys the cart because I'm so irritated. I'm sorry. Um, she was decorating t-shirts for her and her sister because they're going to a concert. And I'm so excited about that and it makes me so happy to help. Here's the problem. She was answering me every 10 minutes and half of her order was not in. So her communication was, it made it really impossible for me to just say, I'm going to cancel this order. Or we're going to keep it moving. Also, the girls at the checkout lane, I couldn't find half the stuff. So I asked them. I went up to the associate and she tells me two of the things are not in stock. She looked on her phone, uh, this little contraption for two seconds, which I know it doesn't take two seconds to look up because I always ask people for help and it takes longer than that and actually walk you to it and help you find it. Well, she just didn't want to deal with me. So she told me two of the things were out of stock. So meanwhile, I'm telling the customer that the stuff's out of stock and I told her to go online and pick out two more things. And then she's taking 15 minutes to do that. Then I asked another lady in the store and she actually found all the stuff that the other lady said was out of stock. 20 minute drive, not eight, nine miles is a 20 minute drive. So I'm right at the house after driving for 20 minutes. The customer knew I was leaving. She has the nerve to ask me if I can wait at her house for 15 minutes because her family is leaving the house and she doesn't want them to know that I'm bringing this bag to her. I said, no ma'am. No, we're not. Not today. We're not. You are. You already wasted an hour of my time. Don't think for two seconds you're sitting here wasting 15 more minutes. No. I waited like two minutes. She wasn't responding to me. And I said, hello, I need to drop this off now. What is going on here? No, I'm not waiting 15 minutes. I'm like, I will walk up to the door and put it in front of the house. And she goes, oh, please just leave it on the side of the garage. Okay. And then she goes, oh, never mind. We already left. I'm going to have to breathe and talk to Jesus a lot this entire 9,000 because the lower paying orders, you guys, that's when the entitlement comes up. I have boundaries. I don't tolerate people. I am never rude, but I'm like, no, we're not actually. And it's, I did all that work for $4. She's a teenager, so she ain't going to tip more. The, the first order turned out crappy. This lady with the attitude, the bags, all the houses with the gates. Y'all, if you're a customer, quit telling I'm not waiting outside 15 minutes for you because you can't decide where you want your bag. No. <laughs> no is a sentence. You wonder why they just throw the crap at your door and call it a day. Love my customers that tip me so generously because they take care of you, they respect you, and they don't ask you to do this cockamamie hoo-ha stuff. Okay, I digress. On the way back, thank God, I got this another terrible order. <laughs> I would have never taken this order, but time's a ticking. $15.67 payout for two customers. One customer's got two items. The other customer, I don't have a clue, maybe $26. Between the two of the customers, they tipped $5. Wow. We got to go pick it up at $7.45 when we're driving 2.6 miles. I'm going to try not to be irritated for the rest of the night, but...
I don't even think I hit my goal yet. If I don't hit my goal after all of this mess today, Lord have mercy. You spend all of this time dealing with nonsense and I could have got an incredible order and spent less time and got paid more. That's what's very challenging about this is taking these garbage orders and you could get really good ones. You guys have seen that from me. Anyway, I'm going to stop complaining. I'll, I'll see you guys at Walmart. And of course, I'm at my favorite Walmart. So let's see what kind of crap they pull now. It is 7.45. I'm in spot 17 at the pickup. Let's reset and see how long this one takes. So this is one order, you guys. This is the other order. I'll see you guys at the drop-off. Look at this customer's notes. <laughs> Ma'am, I'm not going through your bags because I don't care what's in your order. Ma'am, she must be the no tipper of the two. <laughs> Thirty minutes. Eight fifteen. Eight sixteen. I decided to make myself more irritated because I need more money. I took this order. One customer, praise Jesus, amen. 6.3 miles, which I'm okay with where it's going. $20 payout, 78 items, and then it's an apartment, and they have four cases of water. So it's gonna be a great time. I think the rest of my videos, I'm just not gonna talk. <laughs> I'm just gonna be like, When I get irritated, I'm not a nice person, you guys, but I just, I want to be so excited that I'm doing good things, but everyone is irritating me today. I'm irritating myself. So I will see you guys when I pick it up. I swear to God, if it's on the fourth floor. <laughs> well, I guess I'll go out with a big bang, huh? <laughs> I'll see you guys over there when I pick it up. Hey y'all, we're at the parking pickup. It's 8.43. Restart. Let's go. Here's the order, you guys. Nice and full. Story time! This guy, I haven't seen him all day. I've seen him, but he hasn't come to my car all day. And I think I've been at this location three times now. Maybe four. I'm not sure. But he's like, how's your day going? And I said, well, I think it's pretty successful considering I didn't murder anyone today. <laughs> I was like, Mel, did you just say that out loud? And he just laughed. So, uh, thought I'd share that with you guys, but I'll see you guys at the drop off. 37 minutes that took because she's in an apartment complex and I couldn't find her and it was two flights of stairs, but it is 9.23. Okay, guys, I'm going to make it short and sweet because I have to spend the next three hours editing this video. So I want to go to bed and get up early and uh, hustle again if I can. Hopefully get some good rest. Today's total, 165.41. I beat 150. Heck to the yeah. I wish I was more excited, but I'm irritated, tired, and I want to go to bed, but I can't. <laughs> um, so our countdown, we were at 8,776 and nine cents. So at the end of today, we're at 8,610 and 68 cents. So another thing I'm trying to stay on top of, but not really focused on, it's just for me, is that um, this is day four. If we times four by 150, we should be at 600. And if we add on today's total 165.41 to the last three days, which is 223.91, we are at $389.32, so we are not quite at 600. I did make a little bit more than 150 today, so um, that's cool, it's went, it went into other days. I'm not really trying to worry about it, but I just wanna make sure that I stay focused. If you made it to the end with me, my ride or dies, you guys, I appreciate you so much being here um, with me. You guys don't understand how I have to go around all day and work and then I have to go around and video record and then I have to stay up and actually make this video for you and give you guys content. And um, I'm up all hours of the night and then I have to get up early and hustle again just to 
bring more content. Eventually, hopefully, I don't have to do gig work anymore. We can just travel around the country together and YouTube can pay me all the money, but we're not at that point yet. So those of you guys that watched the entire video, thank you so much. I appreciate you more than you will ever know because you guys are like, you're with me. You appreciate me. You love on me. And um, I'm so grateful. So leave me some prayer hands or I think it's a clap. I don't know. Jazz hands. Woohoo hands. <laughs> I hit my goal. Woohoo. I love you guys so much. We'll see you again tomorrow. Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> Bye.